throughout the years of Lightning Lloyd. One of the genres, whether it be Nerf, whether it be stop motion, was always there to entertain everyone. This certain genre was known as TWE. However, during TWE, surprisingly, in 2017, a new remake of it was coming out, also known as XTWEZ. However, shockingly, XTWEZ came to an end, unfortunately, with a pretty bad ending. The matches were good, but it was a pretty bad ending. The following year, a new TWE was made, also known as DT Dub. It was an extreme version of TWE, however. Then, surprisingly, out of nowhere, DT Dub unfortunately came to an end, most likely shocking everybody on the channel. So today, I'm here to not only talk about DT Dub, but why both ended off very bad. So let's start from the beginning before we talk about the end. So in the beginning of XTWEZ, it was supposed to be a remake of TWE from 2015. Just a short change to the name due to problems with others copying us, per se. However, in XTWEZ, it was actually supposed to be a very big, like, TWE that we were supposed to be doing. Most likely in involving a lot of matches, historical matches, and important ones. There was TWE Mania 1, and there was also a Money in the Bank match, but there was one that stood out the most. That, of course, was the XTWEZ finale, where the Mass Warrior challenged Nick for the Intercontinental Championship and the WWE Championship, the first time both were fighting for both belts. For a TWE match, the match was very good, but what most people don't understand it, is that it was a very, very, bad way to just end off XTWEZ, a much bigger, of course, remake of TWE, but more wrestlers, more matches, everything. However, what most people don't know is that a lot of the matches were pre-recorded, basically meaning if someone didn't show up, whoever we had, we would do the matches with, which I'm going to get in right now, because little does anyone know, XTWEZ was extremely close to ending off its original way, not the way where the Masked Warrior faced Nick for both belts. So let's get into that. To start off XTWEZ, most people noticed that the first video was the Royal Rumble 3, which both first and second entrances were two new wrestlers, the Masked Warrior and most importantly, Abraham. Abraham was one of the most important wrestlers, however, if anyone didn't really know, of XTWEZ. What most people can notice is that his wrestling skills wasn't as good compared to the rest of us, as he wasn't used to TWE, which makes sense considering he was new. However, that was actually a problem, because in XTWEZ, little does anyone know, Abraham, Rajichi, Scream, and Angelo were all supposed to compete in a TLC match, which was for the Intercontinental Championship. One of those people that were supposed to be in the match, however, was Abraham. No matter how many times you try to get him, he just said no, no, or he just didn't want to do it anymore. Which is pretty surprising, because he came for the Rare Rumble, and he also came for a couple other pre-recorded matches that we did when Angelo was not around. Most importantly, it's just surprising how he said that, when such a kid would help us with the Super Shark Cart video back in 2015. My bad, not 2015, 2016. But yeah. He was able to help us with the Super Shark Kart stop motion video in 2016, but it's just shocking and surprising to us that he could not come for the one match, the TLC match that he was in. The, the last match he was ever in. However, because that didn't work out with him coming out, we couldn't replace him. It would be pretty silly to see someone else replace him and win the belt just for him. So in the end, because he couldn't come for the TLC match, everything else was ruined and only two more matches were to be made and the original TWE plans would have stayed the same. Thus, this forced us into making a TWE finale then, which was the Mass Warrior vs. Nick, a pretty bad way to end it off considering we had so many other plans, like TWE Mania 2, which was supposed to involve three important matches. Because of this, the only reason why XTWEZ failed 
was because Abraham did not want to come for the TLC match. And that upset us very much. And I will say it again, because I don't care. But it's just extremely amazing that one of the best videos on Lightning Lloyd's Super Shark Kart was made with me, Lloyd, Cardoso, Kevin, and Abraham. And to see Abraham do that long stop motion video and not come for the TLC match really did surprise us once again. But because this didn't happen, XTWEZ fell, and that was that. It ended off very horribly because of one match. All the pre-recorded matches literally went to waste, and that was the end of XTWEZ. Which is why you saw in the TWE finale, it was very dramatic, showing flashbacks of almost every match, almost everything. Because we literally thought it was the end for good, and this was the end of the storyline completely. However, that was very wrong. That ended up not happening. The following year, 2018, also known as this year, I, Rajichi Lasik, and no, not Lloyd, came out with DTWE. A hardcore version of TWE involving weapons such as chairs, tables, ladders, candlesticks, and even cookie sheets. There will be another video explaining that I created DT Dub and why Lloyd played it off, he created it. But we'll, like I said, we'll talk about that in another video. But, with the idea of DT Dub, me and Lloyd thought that successfully, we would be able to create a whole new storyline. Following the same storyline, but because we had new characters, it would kind of start a new one. So let's start from the beginning, obviously with DT Dub. DT Dub ended off with only 6 wrestlers. Three TWE originals and three new wrestlers, Luke the Master's Rage, Nick as himself, and the Masked Warrior as himself, with three new wrestlers, Dark Crimson, Ghost, and Red Devil. The plans were to be that it was supposed to be only us six wrestlers for quite a while, but then after that, we were supposed to invite Angelo to DT Dub, which would have been very historical for the channel and DT Dub itself, considering that Angelo was one of the best wrestlers of our TWE during 2015 and in the other years. Many people don't know, but after Weapons and Carnage was made, there was supposed to be another pay-per-view right after. That one pay-per-view was supposed to be Days of Destruction 2, which was supposed to have a lot of crazy matches, but after Days of Destruction 2, that's when Angelo would have been invited back into TWE, as the first part of DT Dub was only supposed to be the six originals. However, bad news, once again, striked us again. The same thing with Abraham. When we told Angelo about DT Dub, he was actually very, very interested in joining, so we thought he would do it with us. However, same thing like Abraham, he couldn't come for the matches, most likely because he was busy. However, because of being busy so much, and not really answering us, and not coming for matches at all, this, once again, Struck bad luck for DT Dub. Once again, also one of the most hardcore trampoline wrestling videos on YouTube. And what did that do? That forced us into a final video. Before I even start talking about the video, many people might wonder why Luke the Master changed his gimmick into this very weird, strange, satanic, crazy gimmick. Well, because we thought Angelo was going to be in DT Dub. And the reason this character was being played was it's supposed to play a big role during the feud with Nick and a feud with Angelo. I just want to get that out of the way. But that's the reason why the gimmick changed so very fast. From Luke the Master to the Reborn. Then once again, I went from Luke the Master to Luke the Master Reborn to then back to Rage. Once again, a very shocking gimmick change as Rage was part of the TWE brand. Nothing to do with DT Dub, which is why he came back as Luke the Master, not Rage. However, in the video where I'm talking about changing my gimmick to Rage, it was actually false. Did I really want to change back into Rage? No. Because Angelo's inactivity and not wanting to be in DT Dub, not really replying to us, not really wanting to do videos with us, this actually had to force my character change. Therefore, Luke the Master went back into Rage. It just wouldn't make any sense having Luke the Master or Luke the Master Reborn face Nick for a TWE finale. So for the DT Dub finale, I found that the best way to end it off 
was to return as my old gimmick. That gimmick? Rigged. So just like XTWEZ, DT Dub ended off extremely bad. Which was Rage, who is the current World Heavyweight Champion, to face Nick for his belt. So it was basically the belt against Nick's streak. However, in the end, Nick ended up defeating Rage and winning the belt. This caused Nick to have a 9-0 streak, which was actually pretty good. And the ending was okay, but just the booking and the ending in general was very bad. The match was extremely good. It was fast-paced. It was, you know, everything linked together well, everything like that. But it's just about how it ended off. DT Dub did it end off pretty bad. It ended off very horribly. Now, I can't remember which matches exactly, but DT Dub, just like XTWEZ, was supposed to have a lot of matches. However, because Angelo did not come for the matches, there was no way we could have any plans changed, despite this one short plan. Therefore, DT Dub, one of the most hardcore wrestling, trampling wrestling channels on YouTube, fell to its knees. Once again, because Angelo did not come for the videos because of being busy. Do I blame Abraham and Angelo? No, not really, because if it's gotta happen, it's gotta happen. So basically, long story short, to wrap everything up, how did XTWEZ and XDTWEZ end off so quickly and so shockingly? Most likely because Abraham during the time and Angelo during this year could not come for the matches, forcing us to change almost everything. If everything went as planned, would have XTWEZ and XDTWEZ would have been good? Of course it would have been good. It would have continued the storyline just like normal and everything would have went as planned. But because it's hard for me to accept things, this was the only thing during the whole YouTube return of me that I had to accept, which was actually pretty sad. Now that, now that brings up a question. What do we do about the trampoline now that we're not going to do any more trampoline wrestling? Surprisingly, we're just going to keep it. However, if you look in Days Instruction 1, my sister's kid was actually shown in the video. So basically, the trampoline doesn't belong to us anymore. Basically, it's just going to go to her kid. So there you have it. That's why XTWEZ and DT Dub ended off. I thought I could voice record this video, as I'm not so sure if Lloyd would be able to explain it, and I would explain it better, so that's why I made the video. So in the end, I hope you guys understand why both of them, especially DT Dub, had to end off very horribly. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Peace.